Thousands of protesters rallied in the Gaza Strip to support the 12 flotilla against Israeli occupation. Dozens of small fishing boats approached the maritime Israeli security barrier north of the enclave. Israeli forces reacted with live fire and tear gas, injuring dozens of people. The event is part of the Great March of Return rallies that have been taking place at least twice a week since March the 30th. Since the outset of the peaceful action, Israeli forces killed over 200 protesters and injured thousands. We are here to defend our homeland and demand the rights of Palestinian refugees. We will continue to come to protest despite the injuries and death. We are not afraid to die for the sake of our land. Sooner or later, we will liberate our homeland. Protesters have been demanding the right of return for millions of Palestinian refugees and the complete lifting of the Israeli blockade. The Zionists have no rights in our land and we are protesting to demand our legitimate rights. This land, all of Palestine, is ours and we will never give up any part of it and we will use any sort of resistance to liberate it. In recent days, Israeli officials increased their warmongering rhetoric against the Gaza Strip. In an exclusive interview with Press TV, Palestinian resistance movement Hamas had this to say regarding the Israeli threats. The Zionist threats against the Gaza Strip and Palestinian people are nothing new and they don't scare us. They're making these threats in order to stop the Great March of Return rallies. These repeated threats will not be able to break the will of our people. Israel's crackdown against the peaceful Great March of Return rallies drew widespread condemnation from human rights organizations around the world. Despite Israel's increasing brutality, Palestinians here vow to continue their peaceful demonstrations until all of their demands are met. Ashraf Shanan, Press TV Gaza.